Well, hello, I have gone with my first blog post of the night. My first blog post of the night. Is a six-woman majority coming to the Knox County Commission? As you know, there are 11 commissioners on the Knox County Commission. A simple majority of the county commission is six. Uh, So the story reads, tonight's early vote results are in. It appears a six-woman majority is coming to the Knox County Commission. Dr. Daisha Lundy, Courtney Durrett, Terry Hill, all current members of the Knox County Commission, will be joined by 3rd District, um, Gina Oster, 7th District, Rhonda Lee, and at-large seat 11, Kim Frazier. Oster must best Stuart Hall in the August 4th general election in District 3, and Frazier must best Democrat Vivian Scheip and Independent Don Bridges on August the 4th. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, Let's see if we have, well, we don't have any, uh, we've not gotten any election day numbers up yet. So the first blog post is up, um, and uh, it looks like a six-woman majority is coming to the Knox County Commission. As you well know, I have referred to the Knox County Commission as the He-Man Woman Haters Club. And now it looks like the women are coming to the county commission. You say, wait, Brian, you might be a little premature on that. Gina Oster has to best Stuart Hall. Yes, Gina Oster has to best Stuart Hall. You say, Brian, Kim Frazier has to best Vivian Scheip, who's another lady uh, who's the Democrat. And I say, yes, that's true. And then there's an independent, Don Bridges. Let me assure you one thing. The Democrat, the Democrat Party is not as strong as the Republican Party. I've been a part of the Republican Party for 40 years. We will rally around our candidates. We really will rally around um, Gina Oster in the third, Kim Frazier in the 11th, and we will elect them. Rhonda Lee is unopposed in the 7th District. There will be a Republican. uh, I'll get to that, Duel. Uh, There will be a Republican uh, women majority on the county commission um, on September 1st. Now, people are asking me, let me get to the election commission. Hold on. Let me make sure we don't have an election day. We don't have any election day numbers, so let's talk about it. Jewel Balls is asking about the sheriff's race. The sheriff's race, I believe, is over. I believe Tom Spangler has been reelected. Those numbers were... Oh, I got to do that, too. See that? I got to do that. I got to do that in a second. By the way, Nick McBride, these are free. These little plugs you're getting on Facebook Live, they're free. Um, Anyway, sheriff... Good God, will you people stop? Um, all right, let's just go straight to the computer then. Uh, Dual Bowles is asking about the sheriff's race. In early voting, uh, I think we can say the sheriff's race is over. Uh, I think. I think. Pretty sure we can. Um... Dead, burn it. Hold on. There we go. Uh, Yeah, in early voting, uh, Tom Spangler got 71.11% of the vote, or 11,732 votes, to J.J. Jones, 4,766 votes, or 28% of the vote, almost 29% of the vote. So I would say the sheriff's race, based on early turnout, is over. Tom Spangler will get another four years. Uh... And that's great. That's fantastic. Um, So, uh, but yeah, I think the big story coming out tonight is the fact that the county commission, the He-Man Woman Haters Club, is going to be predominantly a a female women uh, majority. Uh, And um, 
I do want to say one thing here. I got, I got, I've been making notes because you know I've not done Facebook Lives, uh, but um, I see this note. It says Two Tone and Bow. Uh, Two Tone is uh, my friend Kirk Talley. Uh, he's got uh, five uh, wiener dogs. Uh, Two Tone passed away today, and also Bo, one of our beloved, um, one of our beloved chimpanzees at the Knoxville Zoo, passed away. 37 years of age, uh, Bo was. And so uh, Bo uh, passed away today. Um, the good news is that the chimpanzee uh, group, uh, that's a good question, Kevin Campbell. Let me, uh, man, Kevin Campbell, Rob Faust needs to give you a promotion because you know what? I've not even looked at the Democrat ballot. Let me go look at the Democrat ballot. My friend, Rob Faust's friend, Kevin Campbell, there's something about a what? 4,000 pound, four pound or something like that? What is that, Kevin? Tell me. Uh, all right, so let's look at that. Thank you, Kevin Campbell. I'm going to tell Rob to give you a raise. So in the Democrat primary, for to take on, to take on um, Glenn Jacobs, Knox County Mayor, hey, Don Close, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. And you know what? Thunder Mountain's coming up in May. We'll put it off until June if we have to. We'll put it off to July if we have to. We'll put it off until August if we have to. Thunder Mountain's not going to do what they want to do in South Knoxville, Don Close. Anyway, uh, Debbie Helsley, the, uh, one of the three Democrats over there in the running to take on Glenn Jacobs, she got 2,958 votes, or 75% of the vote. Uh, Tyler Givens got 607, or 15.49% of the vote. My buddy Rob Faust, you know, this is about the fourth time I've been on here tonight. And, um, yeah, Jimmy Carter. Uh, there would be a shot game tonight for any phrases I use. Um the problem is the phrases I use most often, I can't say on Facebook Live. It starts with an F. Uh, Rob Faust can Facebook message you privately and let you know what that four-letter word is that starts with F. Uh, and then uh, Bob Fisher, uh, who Bob and I, Bob used to not like me too much. Uh, Ryan Faust was on, uh, Kevin, Ryan Faust was on an earlier Facebook Live. Bob Fisher got uh, 353 votes, or like 9% of the vote. So I'd say Debbie Helsley is going to be the uh, the winner on that one. Stuart Hall, who's going to take on um, 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 Gina Oster, he got 440 votes tonight. Uh, Dylan Early, who's going to take on um, Larson J., Got 3,502 votes. We'll look at that later. Vivian Scheip, who wants to take on um, Kim Frazier. Uh, she got 3,665 votes. Uh, Dave Kaz Kazalette, uh, he, uh, he wants to take on Justin Biggs. He got 3,401 votes. Sarah Keith, who wants to take on... Uh, <laughs> Kevin, don't get me started about Rob Faust. And I, Rob, if you wrote me in, there's a reason that you and I have been friends for 40 years. Um, Sarah Keith got 3,589 votes. Kevin, you need to take a, you need to take a little example from Rob and you need to write in brianhornback.com on any ballots that you don't really want to vote in. Uh, Dana Moran, who wants to take on Charles Susano, Got 3,479 votes. These are all in early votes, folks. Scott Crammon, who wants to take on um, Nick McBride, who supply, who supply me with my uh, notepads tonight. He got 3,427 votes. Here's what Kevin Campbell asked for. He asked me how Charles Frazier was doing. John Butler got 302 votes. This is all in early vote. He got, well, yeah, Channel 8. You can go ahead and declare Tom Spangler the winner. I've already done that. Uh, John Butler got 302 votes or 58% of the vote. 
and Charles Frazier got 214 votes or 41% of the vote. Rob, don't say nothing about my math when we were in Carter High School together. Catherine Bike over in the 4th District, she's going to take on Will Edwards. Uh, she got 636 votes. And then Annabelle Henley, who wants, who, who is going to take on Christy Christie, got 358 votes. So it looks like it could, things could change, to answer your question, Kevin, over there in, um, over there in the, in the first district. Um, you know, there's a, about a 58 to 41 percent spread, uh, Kim Eisenberg, thank you for voting for BrianHornback.com. And Rob, you always got to bring up the English teacher that was a union organizer who had a phone in her classroom to answer union organizing phone calls. I've tried to... Oh, we got absentee votes coming in. New votes coming in. Uh, thank you, Jimmy Carter. Vote Hornback. You can do that on August 4th for... Um, Republican State Executive Committee Man in District 6. That's anybody that votes in Becky Duncan Massey's district. So here's where absentee votes are coming in. Let's just go to those. Uh, I might as well just start a new list. Uh, Bud Armstrong is still in the lead with 53% uh, of the vote for Chancellor. He picked up 358 absentee votes to Dino Coles, 185 to Pride Morse, 113. Uh, let's scroll on down here. We're only going. I'm only going to highlight the contested races. Uh, Gina Oster got 48 of uh, the absentee votes, while Nick Sapero got 17 votes. She's still dominating with 72 percent of the vote. Uh, out in the seventh district, that's the land of um, of Rob Faust. Uh, Rhonda Lee got 42 absentee votes. Chuck Severance got 33 of the absentee votes, and Alan Merritt got 11. Again. Uh, 44 to absentee votes between the people who opposed Rhonda Lee and Rhonda Lee. Again, Rhonda Lee with about 53% of the vote. I don't see that changing. Um, uh, I don't see that changing much uh, with uh, election day votes. Absentee votes. Larson J got 395 to Steve Weiner's 242. That's a 62 to 37% spread. Larson J now has a 56% spread, 56% to 43%. Uh, again, Kim Frazier dominated, dominated. Um, 328 absentee votes to Devin Driscoll's 296. Kim Frazier is now at 56% of the vote to Devin Driscoll's 44% of the vote. Um in absentee votes with Justin Biggs, 372 votes to Richard Jacobs, 242 votes. That's a 60 to a 39% spread. Uh, Justin now leads 57 to 42%. Uh, Judd Davis uh, got 412 absentee votes while Sharon Frankenberg got 201. That's now a 70% to a 29% spread. Judd now has 10,648 votes to Sharon's 4,492 votes. Uh, uh, Tom Spangler got 487 votes to J.J. Jones, 204 votes. So now it's a 71% a to a 28% uh, spread on the sheriff's race. Uh, uh, going to the school board in the 7th District, um, Steve Trippa got 46 absentee votes, uh, and Sherry Garrett got 24 absentee votes. That now takes Steve Triplett to a 64%, to Sherry Garrett's 35%. Uh, Christy Christie uh, got 35 absentee votes to Phil King's 22 absentee votes. That takes Christy Christie to a 66%, to a 34% uh, margin of error. Um, Debbie Helsley, again, got 71% of the absentee votes or 320 votes to Tyler Givens, 69, to Bob Fisher's, 57. Uh, and that's all the contested races. So um, it's looking good. Uh, John Butler 
Got 38 absentee votes to Charles Frazier's 22. So uh, John Butler's now to about a 59% to uh, Charles Frazier's 40%. It's 340 votes to 236 votes. So it's um, so it's a um, so it's a it's a 340 to 236 votes. Let me catch up with some comments. Uh, Kim Frazier, yes. No, I'm sorry, Kim Eisenberg, realtor out in North Knoxville. Kim Frazier worked so hard and earned that. Yes, she did. Um, no doubt about it. Uh, Jimmy Carter uh, uh, talking about the nice Knoxville skyline pick uh, right there, uh, right there, that one. Uh, you can thank Kim Eisenberg. She gave me that. Uh, the other picture is um, a picture of our Tennessee State Capitol. Oops. And a uh, picture of our U.S. Capitol. Both pictures taken uh, by uh, Howard Baker. That's uh, print 101, I think. No, I'm sorry. That's print six of 1,000. Uh, Rob Faust, how are you still in District 8, not 7? I don't even want... I don't even... <sighs> You know, in the Bible, I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to do, Rob does a thing on Facebook. If y'all not following Rob Faust on Facebook, he does this thing about something from the porch. Um, <laughs> he does this thing about something from the porch on Sundays. And, uh, oh, really? You're in Fort Sumter? Yeah, that makes sense. I remember Fort Sumter was in District 8 back in 1980. Really? Okay. Anyway, I was going to talk about that thorn in the flesh, but I won't do that now. Dallas Sibley uh, asking about Don Bridges. Don Bridges is not on the uh, on any primary ballot uh, because he's running as an independent for um, county commission at large seat 11. He will be, I get you, brother. I got you. Fort Sumter. Yep, I get it. It's District 8. Uh, you just can't escape it, right? I get it. If you'd have been like D.C. or myself, we moved far enough away that they couldn't get us. But you know what? You're in Fort Sumter. What can I tell you? Uh, Don Bridges uh, will, will only be on the ballot August the 4th, as will Dominique Oakley. Uh, looks like she'll be taking on Steve Triplett uh, in District 7. Looks like um, Philip Sherman will be taking on Betsy Henderson. But all the independents uh, get a free pass on um, <laughs> whatever, Adam. Um Yeah, Ryan, I get that. Um, so I'm getting some words out of uh, out of Rome, uh, out of Loudoun County that aren't very good. But anyway, um, Dominique Oakley will be taking on it appears Steve Triplett. Uh, Philip Sherman will be taking on Betsy Henderson uh, in August. Don Bridges will be taking on the at large Kim Frazier and Vivian Underwood Shipe. Uh, I think those are the only three independents. I think. Um, but hey, all you candidates or all you people who are close to candidates, yeah, uh, Dom uh, Dominique has asked me if I'm calling District 7. Yeah, I can call it. Um, hold on a second. No, Rob, do not send those. I don't want those from you. Uh, yeah, I can. I, I, yeah, I'll call it for Steve Triplett. Uh District 7, school board, uh, Steve Triple has 1,726 votes, or 64% of the vote, to 943 votes. That's 35% of the vote. Uh, I just, although, although I will say voter turnout in Powell High School, Pedago, uh, Halls was probably heavier today. Um, I don't see that Sherry can make that up on Election Day. So, yeah, I'll call it for triplet. Um, I don't have a problem with that. You know what? The grand scheme is, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't think I will be. So, yeah, uh, 
I think Dominique Oakley will be taking on Steve Triplett in on August 4th. I called it. Uh, the other ones I called right at 8 o'clock, just to keep y'all up to date, uh, I called uh, Judge Bill Ayler in circuit court. He was unopposed. I called Glenn Jacobs. He was unopposed in the Republican primary. I called Tony Stansberry. He was unopposed in the Republican primary. I called Mike Hammond. He was unopposed in the Republican primary. So those were the four I called. Uh, we can. I, I think I can go ahead and call uh, Judd Davis because uh, he's winning predominantly. Um, I'd say um, I just called Triplet, didn't I? Yeah, I just called Triplet. I'll go ahead and call Oster too. Uh, so it looks like of, of those on my site, uh, Severance um, and Pride Moore and Frankenberg. Now Frank Frankenberg was av was advertising as was her Republican opponent, so I don't guess that one really counts. And then uh, you know I can go ahead and. Pretty much called Biggs as well, I believe. Um, yeah, Justin Biggs got 57% of the vote. Uh, Richard Jacobs, 42. So I can go ahead and call Biggs as well. So of of those that were on my site, uh, the only the only two that that I, I feel like are going to not be victorious tonight are uh, Severance and um, and Prideborn. So. It's all good. I'll be back on y'all in a little bit. Yes, Ryan Faust, I'm calling it. Big's got it.